kayak gitu ya tadi Before we do any scripture, we didn't let us bow our heads in prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed and eternal Father, thou great suffering King, you who, you who sent for thy only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to be redeemed of this world, of this holy and dedicated our Lord, I thy servant and priest, being before thee, one Jason forth. I ask the eternal Father, if this child of yours had cried his last hour, seeking mercy and forgiveness, O Lord, O thou great compassionate King, grant unto him forgiveness, that he too, O Lord, with ascend into the realms of paradise to sit with the company of saints for the great resurrection morn. Send forth, O Lord, thy Holy Spirit and thy angels and thy saints, that they may watch over the family and comfort them in this time of grief. Let them be assured that all is well with him, O Lord. But let them be reminded, O Lord, that death one day will come to us all, and thus we must make our calling and our election sure with thee. This we ask to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of Acts, the 10th chapter, verses 33 to 35 and verses 30, 42 to 43. Here it's starting from verse 33 to 35. Immediately therefore I went to thee, and thou hast done well that thou art come. Now therefore we are all present before God to hear things that are, con that are commanded thee of God. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. But in every nation he that feareth him and work it righteousness is accepted with him. Glory be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. From verses 35, 42 to 43. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that he is, that he which was ordained of God to be the judge and quick of the dead. And to give all prophets and to and to him give all the prophets witness that through his name whosoever believe in him shall receive remission of sin. Rest in the third, 42nd, 43rd verse, glory be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I am so sorry for what has, ha has happened here. You didn't want to go away, you want to lie with all here? Yeah? <laughs> Tell him not today. You have to go, boy. 
Don't get up there in the corner, we gonna leave in you here. Let us at least sing a hymn. It is well with my soul. When peace like a river attending my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well. With my soul, with my soul. Though Satan shall buffet, though trial shall come, let this bless assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate and have shed his own blood. It is well, it is well, it is well with my soul, with my soul, it is well. My sins, O oh, the bliss of this glorious thought, not but sins, not in part, but the whole, is nailed to the cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. It is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. See now, I don't want you all to be thing because of the thing. Someone has something to say? Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Please stand and say. Good morning everyone, right, I'd like to acknowledge Pastor Bowen, right, uh, on behalf of the Ford family, Jason and extended relatives, we extend our sincere appreciation for you officiating the service today, right, also to members of the Ford clan, right, cousins, all, I really appreciate you all, life, and thanks everyone for their input, however small it may have been today right to celebrate the life of jason ford right i also want to pay my other acknowledgements to all who are probably may not have mentioned right in the program um his colleagues at amalgamated security right officials at guide funeral parlor and others would have made this day possible i will have to be short right and in doing so i would say that jason therese ford was like a brother to me he is my my first and second brother right as we all would know as cousins we all grew up with jason right he was a simple man Yet still, he was a, a humble man, right? And despite his many challenges in life that we all would face, Jason still found the time to be a mentor to me, to be a colleague and a friend to those in his job, and also inspire several others a simple man that goes to show you the profound effect that one person could do i could safely say 
that my future would have been different today had I not known Jason Therese Ford. I could safely say that. No boast about it. And it hurts my heart that despite everything, right, God knows best. We are living in trying times, as you all will well be aware, right? And in these trying times, it was unfortunate that our cousin, our family, right, would have tried his best for the good fort, right? And he went down in the end. But we don't celebrate the, the end of life, right? We celebrate the life that he had, what he would have inspired and done for a lot of us, the lessons that he would have passed on from our deceased grandmother. And if one person could do that, imagine the life that all of us would do. Yeah? So my heart is heavy, but nonetheless, I am glad and I am a better person because of Jason, and I'm sure a lot of people who would have not been here because of the constraints could also say and say. And I'd like to thank you, and brother, go in peace. Thank you, Father. Well, much has been said in the short eulogy. We pray that he would find that peace with God. We pray that his last hour he would have cried to the Master. I say this with closing. It is not how we start this race, it's how we end it. Many of us may have not started this race on a smooth ground, but how we end it. And he would have been called home, whether he was hardened and he didn't hear, or whether he get it by someone while working, whatever the case is, despite what, he had time to have made peace with God. That's important. That's what we look forward to. So with these, please let us stand as we do the committal of the body. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. One of a woman has got a short time to live on the throne of his He coming up on his cutting like a flower, trees as into a shadow, never can be in one seed. In the midst of life, we are in death of whom we seek to succumb. For the fear, O Lord, for sins are free to this peace. Yet, O Lord, God, most holy, O Lord, most mighty, O holy and merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. Thou so knowest, Lord, the secrets of our heart, shut not thy merciful hands for friend. But spare us, Lord, most holy, O God, most mighty, O holy and merciful Savior. Thou most worthy judge, and not suffer us not to the last or any pains of death to fall from thee. For as much as it please Almighty God of his great mercy, he take on himself to come. Yes, for the rest of our God. For as much as it please Almighty God of his great mercy, he take on himself the soul of all their brother, Jason, the rest, forward. He has departed to the upper committed body to the elements of fire and to the ground, earth, spirit.
We commend our spirits, O oh Lord, into your hands. We commend our hearts, for we must to ourselves in loving you. Into your hands we commend our love. I think they'll take, come and take it out now. Good evening, everyone. First of June, 2021. All right. On behalf of the Ford family, on behalf also to our Jason Therese Ford, we would like to extend our heartfelt thanks and appreciation for all who would have took part and celebrated the life of Jason Therese Ford. All right. We know many of you um, would have wished to be here today. But nonetheless, due to circumstances, we know that you all are here in spirit, and we sincerely appreciate your participation on Sim. And we also know that Jason would too. All right, so I'd like to thank everyone uh, for being here today, right, on the link and celebrating the life of Jason Therese Ford. All right, I thank you. Um, hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thanks, everyone, for 
um, for attending virtually the um, funeral of Jason Ford. It's been a tough time for everyone, uh, especially me. Um, I'm, I'm, his, um, I'm his brother. Uh, my name is Isaiah Archer. So most of you all would know me. I'm his younger brother. And it was a very tough time. I mean, you know, me and his brother, every, me as his brother, everything I had to help him with and he, what he helped me with. And, um, you know, he had his own issues, whatever. But I really thought that he, you know, in his heart of hearts, really, you know, appreciated me as a brother. And I appreciate, appreciated him as a brother. And um, at this time, even though it's really hard, I hope that everybody um, takes the time to remember the good times, remember the past, keep those memories in you. So no matter if he's here or he's gone, those memories of him will still exist in his heart. Those um, good times, all the times he came with the family, despite everything, he was still a good soul. He was still somebody to could depend on, somebody you can rely on. And, you know, thank you everyone for all the support you've given us. Through this time, me and my mother, uh, my mother would have taken this especially difficult because of um, obvious connection between mother and son. So um, us now, we're trying to make the best of the situation, try to um, move forward, holding him in our memory, and we hope that um, he finds a better place where he can rest in peace. Thank you everyone for all your kind words, all your condolences, and um, best of luck to everyone in the future. And um, please keep him in your hearts as we, me and my mother have. Thank you. Okay, that's what I would have been through life, right?